In this video from thestudiofiles.com, I'm going to show you how to bounce a track in Logic Pro. Bouncing is one of the fastest ways to get a mix down out of Logic Pro in a variety of file formats, whether you're sending an MP3 to a friend or exporting a wave for the mastering house. First, you need to tell Logic what to bounce, and you do that with the loop selection up here. If you click and drag, you can drag from the start to the beginning or to the end of your song and Logic will then bounce that whole region. But since I'm bouncing in real time, I'm just going to select maybe the first four bars here. And once you have that selected, just go to File, Bounce. Now first, let's make a name for our bounce. Let's, let's not call it Bounce 1. Let's call it uh, Pit First Bounce. That just has to do with the song name. And rather than putting it in the Bounces folder, which is actually very convenient, just so we can find it later, I'm going to put it on the desktop. Now look over here at the destination. You can actually bounce multiple versions at a time, but for now I'm just going to bounce an MP3. So the checkbox is clicked, and let's click MP3. These are pretty good settings to start with. 192 kbps with variable bitrate encoding, that's a good MP3. With highest quality, we'll use the best encoding. Logic pretty much knows to use the best right off the bat. And we'll keep it in joint stereo so we don't have two files. Now if you look over here at the start and end times, notice that where my loop is, Logic automatically filled that out. I can always change it by clicking these buttons here, but let's just leave it. And I'm going to bounce it in real time, and click bounce. And there you have it, and if you hit F11 and go to the desktop, it is right there is our file. Now you know how to bounce tracks in Logic Pro.